While another actual flying car gets into the competition, you may have missed the low-cost Zika detector, the second skin no one knows you're wearing, and the car that can sniff out drugs. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the future means hacking your Amazon Echo to command your Tesla to park itself in your driveway. I will now pull your Tesla out of the garage. Keep an eye on it. Truth time, guys, not all robots are scary. Some, like this car built at the University of North Texas, are keeping our streets safe by sniffing out the chemical signature of meth labs from a quarter mile away. And the US Army is using this nimble-fingered friend to take apart bombs and not just unscrew the cap on your medication. The HDMS 551st by ReSquared is controlled by a human operator, so no chance of it becoming self-aware and running amok. And then there's this bipedal bot from Michigan Robotics. Her name is Marlo, and she's testing self-balancing land legs on a 22-degree grassy slope. These may be exactly what Silicon Valley was making fun of. But we salute you, roboticists, and maybe one day they'll learn the joy of the role. Turns out that the weird kid from second grade who always had Elmer's glue smeared on his hands was onto something. What we've been able to do is create a cream, basically, that you could put on the skin. It can actually form essentially an elastic second skin. Researchers from MIT have developed a similar second skin that is applied as a gel, dries, and stays on for up to 24 hours or until the patient actively rubs or peels it off. The gel compound can be reformulated to deliver drugs, protect the dermis from the effects of eczema, and even smooth out wrinkles. Wrinkle be gone? It's a miracle. The research team expects to have clinical trial data ready by next year and hopes to commercialize it soon after. Until then, it's DIY time. Do you want to taste? Oh, God. Just in time for spring, some smarties at Harvard's Weiss Institute came up with a low-cost, paper-based diagnostic tool to detect the Zika virus. They hope it could be used in the field to screen blood, saliva, or urine for infection, which could help keep the disease from spreading. The black cartridge has paper inside that changes color when Zika is detected. It can tell the difference between dengue fever and Zika, which are carried by the same a-hole mosquitoes. So that's good news. And finally, watchers of this show will know we cover a lot of Rube Goldberg devices, but this one is my new absolute favorite. YouTuber Keplamino used NeoCube magnets to do really complicated little tricks with magnets and marbles, and the result is more mesmerizing than you'd even think. <laughs> 